as we said in the previous show. We do have a brief break from higher level flaring here as the bigger sunspots have turned out of view. The CME glancing blows we were expected to have indeed were very weak as their signatures were minuscule in the solar wind telemetry, but we remain in a proton storm due to particles accelerated by the flares that hit the interplanetary magnetic field. These are wholly a polar region issue, mostly for the ozone. Despite the lack of major sunspots, there is still something to monitor. Several plasma filaments, the thin, dark ropes, are turning in now and they replace the sunspots as the major eruption threat, at least for the time being. First up in the articles is the signature of the end of the Little Ice Age in the 1860s. Veteran observers know that the modern shift in climate began right after the 1859 Carrington Super Flare event, which also kickstarted the magnetic pole shift at the same time. Excellent confirmation seeing those events lining up here. In a bit of a slap to climatologists, we get even more evidence now that the Arctic used to routinely be ice-free during the last interglacial period about 100,000 years ago. So far in this interglacial, which has lasted 12,000 years, we haven't yet seen an ice-free Arctic region. This interglacial has been cooler than the others.